Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. It is just about 4 a.m. in the morning here. It's good old southern New Jersey. Couldn't sleep last night. The dogs had me up. The dogs, uh, my little puppy wanted to play uh, in the bed and she was tormenting me all night. So therefore, I couldn't sleep. So I figured I'd just get up and shoot a video. Um, these are my case copperheads, my case copperheads. Yesterday, I did a video on my Rough Rider copperheads. And it would have only been fitting if I showed my uh, case copperheads today. So um, we'll get a look at them and... Uh, you guys tell me which you like better, the Case Copperheads or the Rough Rider Copperheads. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there because, uh, get a little chat going because I love Copperheads and they're not talked about quite enough. Um, not too many people really talk about Copperheads, but I love them and, um, they have a special place in my heart, that's for sure. And, um, well, let's get a look at them. What? Well, let's not waste any more time here. Um... We'll start over here. We'll start with this Curanite one. Very, very beautiful Curanite. Um, fit and finish is pretty good. They're, you're you're going to see the fit and finish on all these basically the same. Um, I will tell you this much. The pull. The pull on all these uh, came very light. The pull is like a four or a five. Um, yeah, the action is very, very light. You can see it. The action is very good. It's very good, but it's just on the light side. It's just on the light side. You can see there. And then, uh, you got this real nice big pen blade. Really nice big pen. Okay, so that's that. The um, the stiffness on the uh, pen blade is a little bit more defined um, because the uh, clip blade is really uh, light. So we'll keep on going. This is my 1984. This might be one of my cherished pieces in my collection um of all time um this is my 1984 uh case copperhead and um well there's not much to be said about it i just love it um i'm happy to have it in my collection and um i just cherish this piece uh i really really do um got that nice big pen blade there if you look at that jigging, that jigging is just something, something else that jigging is. It's just really, really done special. It's a special piece uh, to me. So that's that. Moving right along, we got to step it up a little bit. This is the red jig. Got this beautiful red jigging. Um... Fit and finish is really good. Um, like I said, the pull's light. The pull is light. You got that beautiful clip blade. Look at that clip blade, man. Just a fantastic clip blade on these. Just, that's why I really don't um, gravitate towards the uh, Warncliffe ones. Because these clip blades are just fantastic, man. They're They're on another level. They really, really are on another level, these clip blades, man. They're just fantastic. <sighs> okay. They came out with single blades, um, acid-washed single blades copperheads in these crazy cool colors. Um, they wanted to try these, these colors out in this black acid-washed blade. And boy, I'll tell you, man, it was just... 
I seen these come out and I just almost fell off my chair. I really did because they're really cool. Um, they're cool to me. Uh, they're really um, a nice collector's piece. And uh, I really enjoy these. The single blade is really, really good. Um, I love single blade anything. <clears throat> so that's that. This is another good one here. Look how look at the the um the burnt I think this is like burnt oatmeal or something. But nevertheless, just another great piece. Got that clip blade there. Just a great just what do you say, you know what I mean? They're the perfect size. Um these copper heads are the perfect size. That's why I don't uh collect the um swell the whittlers the uh center what is it the center swell uh whittlers too small everything mostly coming out of the vault to me is too small and i don't i don't i pass them up because they're too small if they were if they were of decent size like these oh yeah oh yeah i'd be all over them but they're not they're too small You can, <clears throat> they, they just got the perfect size in hand. They are just a perfect, perfect size. They're, they might, this might, I might deem this the perfect knife. Um, if, if there had to be one, um, out of all of them, this might be the perfect knife. This very well might be the perfect knife. Um, in my opinion, in my opinion. If there can only be one, this might be it. You got this Appaloosa. Look at this green Appaloosa. Double X in the um the in the inlay. The backside is really dark. Look at that dark, rich green. Look at that rich green. Fantastic piece, man. Really, really good. Really, really good. Fantastic piece. Glad to have them. Glad to have them. <clears throat> I tell you what, when these came out, I was going nuts, man. I'll tell you that. This is the straight up black synthetic. Love black, man. Love black. Love black synthetic. Just cool, man. Feels good. Feels rich. Feels nice in the hand. Nice and smooth. You get purchase on it. You don't have to worry about slipping off. You don't slip off. Just a great, great piece there, man. Great. They're all they're all good, man. They're all good. I just like that big pen blade. I just like that. I mean, it's almost a full size. It's almost like a full size cutting implement here. They give you, I mean, it's not little, you know what I mean? They really wanted it to count. Got this green, beautiful. This might be the most beautiful one. Look at that green jigging. Look at that jig. That green is just spectacular. Spectacular. And then you pop that blade out and look at that, man. That's just... It's exceptional, man. It's exceptional. It re it really is. It really is. Got that nice big pen blade to do your cotton. You don't even have to use your uh, clip blade. You can get all your work done with just this pen. That's that. You always have to have a yellow synthetic one in the collection, don't you? I mean, that's that's just basically what you do. But just fantastic. Look at that blade. Carbon steel. Look at that blade. Action is really, really, very, very good. Except the action's just a little um, light. The detent's just a little light. Look at this purple. Look at this purple against this black stonewash blade. Look at that. 
I mean, that might be, that might be the, the, it's one of my, it's one of my very favorites in the collection. It's got to be up there what one of my favorites has to be, has to be. I mean, it's that, that good of a hitter. It's that good. Last one is the Amber. Just, you, you know what Amber is. Amber's just beautiful. You can't, you, you can't, but Amber's like uh, yellow, uh, Delrin, you know. You have to have a, a Amber in your collection. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at that clip blade. Man, never saw a clip blade like that. Fantastic. That's it, guys. Um, that's all my copperhead, my case copperheads. Um, drop me a comment if you can. Let me know what you think about them. And uh, do you, are you interested in seeking out some of these copperheads? Because they're still around. I mean, you could still get them. Um, you can still pick these up. So let me know what you think. And um, I try to respond to all the comments, although it's been... A uh, little tough around here lately, uh, getting back to comments because I've been so busy. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Be good, be well, be safe, guys. Just take care. Bye-bye.